All right, y'all, back with another vlog. I hope you guys are ready to rock and roll. If you're new here, what these vlogs are about is a documentation of my entrepreneurial journey. And really, it's beyond my entrepreneurial journey. It's really, I'm trying to become the best version of myself. I wanna be an eight-figure CEO, meaning that our company does eight figures in revenue a year. I've done eight figures in revenue in my lifetime, but I wanna do eight figures in revenue a year. I wanna be my fittest self. I wanna be as close to God as I can be. I wanna be as close to my wife as I can be. And this is a documentation of that. So if you're watching, you're already along for the ride, right? And what you get as a result of that is hopefully inspiration, motivation, business tips. It's all jam-packed inside of these vlogs. I'm also dedicated to telling you guys the truth. I feel like there's a lot of bullshit out there with the influencers and with business coaches that really just feed you a line of shit so they can sell something. I wanna tell you the transparent truth. If you've been with me for a while, I've taken you through all of my struggles and I'm very transparent about my struggles. I'm also, I'm also transparent about my wins. So I'm gonna share my wins, I'm gonna share my losses, and hopefully you learn something from that. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so it's Friday. This is my personal task sheet. So what we got is beginning of the days. So I had to hold the leaders accountable. They submit an end of the day report, check that in, ask any questions and just get clarity. Uh, sent out a couple of messages to my clients, uh, like broadcast messages in our client community to provide value. I have to work on a email sequence for a new offer that we're launching. We're launching a $97 uh, course plus community. And I wanna um, create an email sequence that basically upsells them into one-to-one -one coaching. Every single day, I have to contribute to our culture. I have to record a podcast today. I'm also the sales manager, so I have sales manager duties. I'm also the marketing manager. I have a one-to-one -one client, and uh, today is the day that we get on our calls. And then from there, just a couple other like little things down here. And then always on my personal task sheet is my uh, personal development list, which I already knocked dead this morning. So we're having a great Friday, and yeah, let's keep kicking ass. All right, Caitlin and I, we're about to vlog our cooking experience. I've been walking around, we've been watching uh, Breaking Bad. So I've been walking around going, Jesse, we have to cook. <laughs> it's time to cook, Jesse. Time to cook, Jesse. And then, I, I think I'm more like Walt in personality. Caitlin's more like Jesse <laughs> in personality. So here we go. What are we cooking, babe? Oh, uh, we are cooking. We are Mary cooking. Mary the chicken. Mary meatball. chicken. Mary chicken. Mary the chicken meatball. Mary the chicken. Mary me chicken. Mary me chicken meatballs. And this is where we're getting the meat from. Mila. Chad and I are also opting for poppies tonight. Yep. We really enjoy being sober together. I definitely like that being tipsy too. Yeah, but. Right now we're being sober for Right now we're being sober, yeah. First of September. Okay. So this is the parm of the Jean? Yeah. Parm of the Jean. What? No, no, no. Don't do it like that. Why? You're gonna skin your fingers off. Ow. No, baby. When you're going like this with your fingers, yeah, yeah, you wanna keep distance from your fingers to the grater, or you're gonna shave your fingers off. That would've been fun. Classic guy. All right. Hey. Oh. Okay. I hate that. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm gonna kinda just like measure with my heart, but we're gonna do- Measure with your heart? Italian seasoning. Well, I'm gonna be fat as shit then. Are you gonna post this whole thing? No. Or you're gonna cut it? Uh, Pedro. Okay. Let's see. Parmesan. Oh, okay. Eat. Eat. Mmm, I love Parmesan. Oh. So you're the sous chef, and I'm the chef, and then you no, kind of- I'm the fucking- I'm Walter White. <laughs> I'm Walter White in this bitch. Are you? Yeah. You're Jesse. What is that supposed to mean? Wait, do you know how to Jesse. cut- Do you know how to cut garlic? Uh, oh yeah. Oh! This was like a really ripe garlic. Damn, you look like Betty Crocker in this video here. Really? Yeah. Hey, Betty. Just over Whoa, here. maybe you should watch your Shut pants. Shut up, pick it up. 
for my husband, so he'll marry me. I'd get a lot of views if you cut your finger off. I really don't want to do that. Okay, good. Hold on. Uh, I don't need it. You're a great mincer. <laughs> I know. That could have been minced better, actually. I think so, too. Why are you agreeing with everything I say? <laughs> you want me to fight you on it? A little bit. All right, let's see. Okay. Um, I have a job. My job yeah. is to mince this parsley. <laughs> mince. <laughs> Commence the mince. Good job. Oh my god. Big. Oh my god. Where's it go? This is so scary. What are you doing? Where's the hand? Oh go? my god. <laughs> is it like this? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it. Like, make sure it's like steady. Don't get your fingers that are holding the knife. Maybe place the palm of your hand on the top of the knife. Right. Yep. I don't like that. Okay. This is terrifying. And I gotta put my hands in there? Yeah, you gotta massage it. Mix all the ingredients together. It's gonna be like massaging your butt cheeks. Really? That's an interesting take. <laughs> okay. This is kind of sexual. Why? How? Like it kind of gets you in the mood. You massaging raw chicken gets you in the mood? Alright, this is looking really good. They're gonna start forming it into like little balls. Like, maybe just like a little smaller than a golf ball slash like a golf ball. Alright. Balls. All right, Chad made the balls, and now they are going in the oh, pan. Oh yeah, we love the sizzle. And we got 18 balls. The sizzle is good. Yeah, these are me so How good. would you rate my ball skills? How would I, you rate my balls? <laughs> I, I'd give them a 10 out of 10. Wow. You actually did really good on the ball making. Thank you, my balls are Once these strong. Oh guys, I guess I'm left out of this one. Damn it. Hi guys, I'm back. Just wondering if you I'm back. Yes, I can smell the food now. It smells very good. You guys are doing a great job of cooking it. And I like it. <laughs> this is the reality of entrepreneurship. I had to step away from uh, Caitlin and dinner time to solve a work fire. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna show you guys the realness of entrepreneurship. I was having a great time with my wife and I had to step away to solve this fire. So great thing is she is a massive trooper, full supporter, doesn't give me shit for it. And um, I'm very grateful for that. All right, I'm back. All right, I'm sorry. <clears throat> What's the update, sous chef? <laughs> Whoa. All right, hold on. We're adding about a cup of chopped sun dried tomatoes to the cream sauce, which I think Chad's gonna probably take over the cream sauce once we get oh, it simmering over here. I'm making the cream sauce. <laughs> I was just zooming in on your butt. Oh, why does he look at it actually? It's <laughs> I, like this. I think it looks good. Damn, look at that. Your butt looks better than that though. I'm glad. So you're cooking. This is the specialty right here. You gotta bring it around town. <laughs> this is the special ingredient. If you ever want to know why Caitlin's food tastes so good. <laughs> I guess I will. <laughs> do the dishes? Yeah, I'll do the dishes. Move out of the way. Wow, you're so tight. What is everyone's least favorite chore? Hey. I don't actually Stop. Break. I'll do it. Unless you want to do it. No, okay. Do you want to do it? That's okay. Okay. My one of my least favorite chores is the dishes for sure. What would you say? What's your least favorite chore, baby? Uh, taking the dishes out and putting them away. Uh, I don't yeah. actually mind putting the dishes in there because I like seeing. She the tends to leave them in there for five days, and no, they smell like they smell like mold. Dinner looks so good. Is served. Okay, we're gonna do our first bite of the meatballs. Meat oh my god, it looks so meat good. Meatball. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, shockingly really good. Shockingly. Wow. Mm. You did great. Good job, baby. Mary, you did a lot too. I don't like giving anything a 10, but I'm gonna give this a 9-4. That's a good score from Chad. If you know Chad, you know he's a harsh critic. I gotta say, it was very, very delicious. It was so good. It was very, very good. Okay, cool. That's it for tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow morning and give you guys a little NLCA update. Peace. Woo. All right. Hope you guys are doing great. It is Saturday morning. Kickstarted my day with a three mile run. Man, working out in the morning just makes makes all the difference. It's like your cup of coffee before your cup of coffee. Also, a uh, quick update on my weight loss journey. Um, but as you guys know, I'm trying to get down to 220 pounds. Uh, I went to New York City last weekend. Yeah, last weekend with Caitlin for her 30th birthday. And uh, I ruined all my progress. I went from 233 to 240. My body has these like wild, 
uh, weight fluctu fluctuations, even if I just have like a couple of days of um, shitty eating. Like, I don't know if there's something wrong with me or I just need to be really dialed in, <clears throat> but uh, getting some blood work to actually look into that. So I actually will have a more formal answer for you to see if there is something wrong with me right now. Cause I just, I'm having a way harder time losing weight when that wasn't always the case. Um, if you look at pictures of me before I did steroids, I was always really lean. Then I did steroids. Once I got off steroids, I've had a really hard time losing weight. But anyways, uh, I ballooned back up to 240 and now I'm back down to 236. So I, I, I still am committed to getting down to 220 pounds and, and we're gonna make that goal a reality. But before we end today's vlog, as you guys know, the whole entire goal with me documenting my, my journey here is um, I wanna be an example of human excellence and not just in business, but I want my marriage to be an example of human excellence. When I have a family, I wanna be a dad that other people can look up to. I wanna be a CEO that other people can look up to. I want my body to be represented of that. And really just in all areas of my life, I wanna be extremely close to God. In all areas of my life, I want to be excellent. And that's why I'm documenting this because one, selfishly, I wanna be able to look back on it and be like, oh, wow, I, like holy shit, I fucking did that. I want my kids to be able to see this. And then equally, I want you guys to be able to see this as well. And hopefully this inspires other individuals. Before we end today's vlog, I wanna give you guys some recent learning lessons. So uh, giving you guys a quick NLCA update. So June was a great month, July was a great month, August was a really terrible month, just being frank. September has gotten off to a better start. Uh, but when you have a bad month in business, you always gotta walk away with how are we improving. So I have a couple of things here, three things that I wrote down um, that I wanna share with you guys. So the first one is retargeting. If you run ads, you have to have a really high retargeting budget. So I was talking with my one-to-one -one business mentor and he asked me, he said, how much of your ad budget is going to retargeting? And I was like, oh, like 3%, like barely any. And he was like, okay, cool. So you're spending 97% of your ads going to just cold people that have never seen you before? And I was like, yeah, that's right. And he's like, well, dude, that's your mistake. <laughs> that's your mistake because check this out. 7.5% of your leads will buy within the first 90 days. 42.5% of your leads will buy after 90 days. And he said, what's the big difference? And I said, I don't know. He said, consumption drives conversion. Write that down. Consumption drives conversion. Your prospects, and this is also a statistical fact, your prospects need to see 27 pieces of content from you before they move forward. So if my ad strategy is only focused on people that have never seen me before and just introducing them one time and expecting them to buy, that's not gonna work. We have to, we have to continue to show them more content. And we do that by retargeting people that have engaged, right? So now we're allocating 20% of our budget to retargeting, all right? And from there, we're retargeting people that have engaged with the ads, followed us on social media, people who are on our email list, the whole entire nine yards there. All right, so that's learning lesson number one. You gotta have a retargeting budget. You gotta have people see your stuff 27 times before they make a buying decision if they're gonna move forward with you or not. That's point one. Point two, I invested in a mentor two months ago and admittedly, I showed up to the one-to-one -one calls, which the one-to-one -one call, there's only one one-to-one -one call every single month. Um, there's a text chat and I would text them when I have questions, but there's a weekly group call and I didn't attend the weekly group call until the first time last week. All right, so I got on a one-to-one -one call with the, business co with the business coach and I said, hey, I'm not having a great month. And he was like, dude, I'm gonna be honest, you probably tell your clients to show up, right? I'm like, yeah, I do. He was like, okay, are you showing up? No, I'm not showing up to the weekly group call. And my excuse was, well, I'm taking sales calls, so I need that slot for a sales call. And um, now I'm just kicking myself, like, you fucking idiot. Like, you're paying for this mentorship, you have to maximize it. So with mentorship, and I attended the group call this past week, and this, the second I was on it, I was like, man, I've been missing out. Like, this is great energy. Not only is it just good information, it's great energy. Like, when you're an entrepreneur and you work from home, it could be boring to work from home, right? Like, you don't have, like, a lot of external stimulus. But when you're a part of a community and you show up to the community calls, it could really light a fire under your ass, right? You're around the same energy of the people trying to do the same thing. And um, my learning lesson number two is when you pay for mentorship, and this should go without saying, you gotta go all fucking in, right? You gotta go all fucking in. And that leads me perfectly into point three. I heard this in a podcast the other day and I was like, man, like I just need to keep hearing this. This needs to keep, like I just need to play this over and over again in my brain because what the podcast said is you don't wanna be the person three to five years from now that looks up and there's other people living the life that you are supposed to live. And the reason you don't have that life is because you didn't go all in right now. The opportunity is right now, right? The, the, the world is weak. Right, people are weak, the economy is weak, everything is weak, right? So if you're a strong individual with good character, good intentions, and great skill set, the opportunity is right fucking now, right? And like, and, and like I said, I don't wanna be the person three to five years from now that looks up and there's other people living the life that I said that I wanted. That would piss me off to no fucking end. And hopefully it pisses you off too. Those are my learning lessons. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. But if you guys like this, right? This is a mixture of me showing you my life, but more importantly, me documenting my journey to becoming the best version of myself to becoming an eight-figure CEO, and really to making a massive impact. If that's something you wanna join along on the ride, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.